Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now today's piece of content comes from one of my favourite wallet companies out there and that is Pioneer Carry. We are here today to look at the Pioneer Carry commuter wallet. Now as I say, so I've tried quite a few of their wallets in the past but this is just something that's you know it's just a little bit bigger there's a little bit more that you can fit in this but it still fits perfectly in your pocket and I got in touch with them and they were more than happy to send me so full disclosure this was sent to me free of charge however it certainly doesn't reflect any of my views on this I certainly wasn't paid to uh, to review this favorably now what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look whilst I'm doing that if you do enjoy this content at any point please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button that would be absolutely amazing but for now let's take a closer look at the commuter wallet this is the pioneer carry commuter zip pouch wallet I think it's actually zip wallet um, so as we usually do we'll go through some measurements some materials and then we'll have a look at some of the features around the actual uh, wallet itself now as far as the measurements are concerned it comes in at 166 millimeters by 110 millimeters by 25 millimeters deep if I just grab my ruler that is roughly six inches by four three and 16 20 firsts of an inch by 25 millimeters which I think is just about one inch deep as far as the materials are concerned now I guess it depends I suppose at this point it's good to talk about the colors um, because dependent on the colors depends on the materials so the three and I'll, I'll call them base colors I don't believe this is how they refer to them but just just for now so you have uh, three base colors so you have uh, one that is the earth color which is this one there is a slate color which is like a, a bluey kind of slate and then there is a navy which is a darker blue so all of those come in um, their three ply nylon so hopefully if you can see on here, it has this really nice textured uh, ripstop material on here and I can certainly vouch for the wallets that I have had in the past from Pioneer Carry. Um, I've owned for two, three years and they still look as new as the day that I, I, I first got them. Now there is another colour to this which is, is kind of, so if you imagine where you can see the um, the lines that are the ripstop, um, so they're grey, so it's an all black version, it looks like it's got this grey pinstripe to it and that uses their 10XD um, material and the 10XD material is a ultra high molecular weight poly, poly, polyethylene I hope I've got that right, um, but it's just ridiculously tough. I do have one of the wallets in that, and it's it's theoretically strong, ten times stronger than steel. Um, yeah, ridiculously tough. As far as the weight is concerned, the version that I have here, in fact, I believe all of the versions come in at forty-one um, grams. So construction-wise, we've, we've had a look, I suppose, when you talk about the colours and the construction around the outside. There's a small little Pioneer um, logo here on the top. The only other main feature on here is the large zip here, uh, and this uses one of the YKK AquaGuard zips. It makes it extremely water-resistant. Now, there are no zips, I suppose, I lie, there are a few zips out there that kind of are but really they're zips behind zips behind zips and things like dry suits um, whereas with this it will do an extremely good job of keeping water out you, you just make sure you don't submerge it or do something crazy like that um, but where the zip where the actual little pull on the zip goes down it just pushes into a little garage here uh, so that if you want you can pull that out uh, and then it opens. Now what you'll find with quite a few of these AquaGuard zips they're a little bit tough to open I, I, I mean, it's not super tough, but I think the fact that um, the teeth behind here, and these are the RC teeth, or behind the AquaGuard zip, you certainly don't mind it just being a little bit tougher to open. I, I, I certainly um, don't have any issues with it. And when you get in, it just splays open like this, and you can see that there is some division in here. So quickly have a rights in rain all weather universal notepad and that fits in perfectly 
also in here with this divider actually underneath there I also have a small uh, pen as well but if you did need a larger pen I've just had one on my desk and I'm not sure where I've put it but it, you will be able to fit a full size pen in here as well there is a divider here which uses the same material from the outside so that if you wanted to keep something separate in there uh, it, it's certainly easier to do so. Um, I always keep some wired headphones with me mainly because the batteries on these, the batteries on wired headphones are just absolutely amazing um, and in the 58 years that I've owned these wired headphones um, I've never had to recharge the battery. Uh, and I've also got one of these range bands on there just to make sure that they don't turn into just a massive mess in there but um, this pocket in here as well goes the, goes the it does go the full length so if you did want it to put something larger in there uh, you can put notes in there you can put your cards in there and of course they'll all fit now on the flip side there is a small zip so this zip gives you instant access to an additional pocket here at the back so I've just dropped in a couple of coins but you can put in there anything mainly that you want to keep separate uh, my amazing wired headphones will fit in there uh, my pen will fit in there if I wanted to put a UK legal knife in there that will all fit in there as well just mainly so that you can keep something secure uh, and separate away from everything else as well now the stitching in here is immaculate as I've always come to expect from Pioneer Carry. Um, everything is made to a ridiculously high standard. The stitching around the sides also has reinforcement on there as well just to make sure that it always looks clean uh, but also has uh, well uh, yeah extra reinforcement. The internals I will triple check this I will double check but it feels like 210 nylon on the inside which is a very common one um, it, it, it just allows you to get a little bit of lining between the outside and the inside which is which is also nice as well um, on the back it's nice and plain on the front it's nice and plain but I think the beauty of this is just its simplicity and how kind of classic it looks but when I'm putting stuff into here whilst commuting um, I took this away with me recently I had all my boarding passes I had all my paperwork in here but it just meant that whilst I was going between different bags I always keep a grab bag with me whilst I'm traveling and it meant that I could put everything that I needed that was valuable to me that if I needed to leave the premises if I needed to leave the hotel if I needed to leave the conference facilities where I was this was in my bag I could grab my bag and then I could go and I could get to the airport and do whatever it is that I needed it's a really nice size and it it is still pocketable you can still keep this as a wallet now if you try and carry it back pocket you do find you get just a little bit poking out uh, but in your front pocket it just slips in there without any issues whatsoever I really do think the commuter wallet is just another great example of what Pioneer Carry do best. And that's just thinking about style, form, materials, the way it's used, putting that all together, using their knowledge, using their experience and creating something like this. You might think I'm blowing smoke up their arse. I say this a lot and I try to say I'm not blowing smoke up their arse, but I am in this point because they're absolutely amazing people and they make great things. And I think if you're after something that is gonna last a lifetime, plus has all of the features that you need from something like this, then I think the commuter wallet is definitely something that you should check out. Now I'll leave Pioneer Carrier's links below so that you can see more from them. I'll leave some of my social media links as well. But for now, stay safe, stay more Linda, and stay UDC.